Hi, this is Ram from ramkedem.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use column aliases. Basically, column aliases are a way to change the column name for the duration of the query. So in this lesson, we are going to learn why we would like to change the column name, what is the motivation, then we will understand how to use those column aliases, and toward the end of this lesson, I will provide some general guidelines. So why do we use column aliases? Let's type the following query. Let's say, select last name, join date, plus five, form customers. Let's execute. Sometimes we want to change the name of columns to something more meaningful according to our business logic. For example, assume that for this query, it will make more sense to call the last name column LN, for any reason you can think of. Another example. In our last lesson, we learned how to use arithmetic operations. Now, if you remember, we said that a new calculated column has no header. For example, note that the column representing joined it plus five has no header. This is another case where we rather provide more meaningful names to our retrieved columns. So how do we create column aliases? Let's take our last query. And in order to provide the last name column an alias, we will say as, we are using the as keyword, and then within single quotes, we will type L and for example, so this is the new header for last name column and for join date as, and let's say for example, a new join date. Let's execute. And as you can see, the column headers have been changed. Now, when we are creating new column aliases, the as keyword is not mandatory. Let's copy our last example. And this time let's remove the as keywords. Let's try to execute again. And as you can see, everything worked just fine. So why do we need the as keyword? You may ask yourself. The answer is we are using the as keyword mainly to make our queries more readable. It may be hard to understand how the as keyword contributes to our readability in this case, but trust me, when dealing with massive queries, everything that enhances the query readability is a must. So although you don't have to use the as keyword, always use it. Now, as you are about to see, the single quotes are not mandatory as well. So let's take this query, let's copy it, and this time let's remove the single quotes. Let's highlight and execute. And again, everything works just fine. As with the as keyword, we are using the single quotes in order to enhance our readability. Now, please note, if for any reason you are planning to create column aliases with spaces, for example, let's take this query, let's copy it, and this time let's say, instead of new join date separated by underscore, let's try to separate it by spaces, you will see that executing this query results an error. If you want to create a column alias separated by spaces, you must enclose it within single quotes. So this is a case where you have to use single quotes. But take my personal recommendation, don't create column aliases with spaces. This is not a good practice. Few general guidelines. When you are creating column aliases, always use the as keyword, always use single quotes, and remember, when your alias consists of more than one word, separate each word by an underscore, not space. Okay, so in this lesson, we learned what is a column alias, why we would like to use it, and how. Please feel free to ask any question you may have in the comments section below. If you are looking for a way to practice what we have just learned, in ramkedem.com, you will find hundreds of exercises on many different levels. More details can be found in the video description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.